Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, and touch to the latest iOS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings here, we'll see your first option all the way up here with a circle. Over there will be your device's name or your name. From there, just make a backup using iCloud. If you have no more iCloud space, don't worry about it. Just hook up your iPhone, iPad, or touch to your computer and use iTunes in order to do that. Also, if you're having any problems with the update, go ahead and hook it up to your computer. That will solve all the issues. If you guys have a Mac, you can do it within Finder. Anyways, we're just going to scroll down. We're going to look for general. Under there, our second option will be software update. Under software update, we should see this checking. And finally, we should see this, which is about a gig. So it will be kind of big for some people and not so big for others. It does depend on your internet speed. Overall, you're not looking at more than 30 minutes. However, yes, older devices will take a little bit longer than newer devices. So right now we're just gonna tap on download and install. You might ask you for a passcode if you have one. Now make sure you have at least 50% of your battery and even if you have more, I would still hook it up to some electricity just in case. Now don't worry if you don't see the download and install, maybe you just see install. That just means it automatically downloaded. That all depends on your settings. So for some of you, all you may see is install and then it's just gonna turn off. You're gonna see an Apple logo and a loading bar. For others where you see downloading install, yes, it's gonna download the update and then it's gonna install. At this point in time, you could just leave your iDevice just to be, it's gonna install it by itself anyways. And the reason why I always suggest to make that backup is just in case something goes wrong. So let's say during the actual installation of the new iOS, it turns off your battery just dies for some reason, then it's very important that you have that backup because you will have to restore your iPhone, iPad, or Touch, and then you have that backup so you can load everything back into it. So that's the only reason why I suggest always, always making a backup before running any updates. And that's why you always want to turn automatic updates off. So that way you have full control of your device. But anyways, right now we're just gonna wait for that download. It shouldn't take too long. It's only a gig, so it's pretty small. All right, so once it's finally done downloading, we can just tap on install now. Once we tap that, it's just gonna verify. We're gonna see a black screen, an Apple logo, and then a loading bar. All right, so the first Apple logo and loading bar should have gone pretty fast, and then the second one's gonna go even faster. Yes, this would be the second Apple logo and loading bar. We're gonna look at our screen, and then we will be done with the update. Once it's done, we're just gonna see this software updated, and we can scroll up, putting our passcode, and that's it. That's it for the update. Everything should be good. We can go back into settings and just make sure. So we're gonna go right there, up to general, and then software update, and we should see that it is up to date to the latest one, 14.5. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.